Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? And a lot of people, young and old, think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today we're just going to do a little fun video short. I saw this article on uh, 23 things uh, millennials say will die out with the boomer generation. I am um, considered a baby boomer late in the baby boom generation, but... Uh, and I got a little bit of ambient noise here, but let's go ahead and run through these. We'll see how I'm doing on these. Uh, first one is spam calls. And uh, I'm pretty good with this one. I use an app uh, to block a lot of spam calls and I don't answer most of them. It says, are baby boomers the only ones listening to spam call or who answer and listen to spam calls? That might be up for debate, but some think that if less people answer these calls, they will be less profitable. Yeah, I don't I don't uh, answer. If I don't recognize the number, I don't answer it. So I think I do pretty well on this one. China cabinets. Um, I got to tell you, I, I think they're wrong on this one. I think China cabinets is my parents and grandparents generation. I never understood China cabinets. I don't I don't get it. Number three, not allowing cashiers to sit. Well, I was a cashier once where we were so busy that you didn't have time to sit. But uh, yeah, I mean, people are a little more humane now. So um, I've never been a boss so or a manager, so I don't really um, understand this. But uh, yeah, I, I suppose people did. People were a little rougher. Um, I don't know about this one, but uh, sure. I mean, cashiers should be able to sit, so I don't have a problem with that. Silver-plated kitchenware. Yeah, I never got that. And again, I think that's more my parents' and grandparents' generation. I think the boomers were already phasing this out, so I'm not sure we deserve that um, wrap. Uh, cable TV and landline phones. Well, I haven't had landline in years. Um, I know people that still have them, and I don't understand it. Sorry about the wind out here. My Lord, it's uh, kicking up really good. It's a beautiful day, but we got a little bit of a gusty breeze here. And cable, yeah. To tell you the truth, I don't watch TV at, at all. Um, I have a television set, but I pretty much just watch YouTube. And uh, I made an exception for the um, Beatles Get Back documentary on Disney. I watched that, but I... I basically just don't watch any TV at all. And uh, so I don't have cable. I don't have Hulu. I don't have ESPN. I don't have Netflix. I don't watch any of that right now. I'm just taking a break from it. I hate my spouse humor, number six here. Um, hi, honey. Did you miss me with every bullet so far? Well, you know, I do remember a conversation one time where some guys were sitting around a table. And uh, one of the guys referred to his wife as the ball and chain. And this other guy at the table, he interrupted. He said, maybe if you didn't call her that, you'd have a better relationship. I loved it. Called him out on it. And the guy just reared back and he thought about it. He goes, yeah, you're probably right. So, um, yeah, the baby boomers are a little guilty of that. But uh, I never was. I never I always uh, showed respect to my woman. So. Writing checks, I haven't done that in years unless absolutely necessary. I do have some checks, but it's been at least two years since I wrote a check. Uh, no, I don't do that at all. Um, wearing suits in the workplace. I worked for Intel Corporation in the 1980s, and they were a trend center in um, having people pretty much wear, you know, polos and dockers and that kind of thing. We had a dress code. We weren't big on suits and that was in the 80s and so um i think this wearing suits in the workplace um, pretty much died in the 80s if not the 80s then the 90s uh, most places i worked for had a casual dress code voicemail um i will tell you i have a u.s phone number and a mexican phone number and <laughs> my mexican voicemail the menu is in spanish and my sp and it's too fast. It's just goes by so fast. I don't understand what they're saying. And so I don't 
I've never picked up, I've had a Mexican phone number for about two and a half years now. I've never picked up a single voicemail on it. I just text people back, what do you want, you know? And uh, so, um, yeah, I don't do much voicemail at all. Um, I get maybe, I might, on my U.S. phone, I might check a voicemail a month and that's about it. So I'm pretty good about that. Uh, the card game Bridge. Now, I never played Bridge or even understood it. So, um, but I think here that Bridge could make a comeback, you know, maybe in the future, maybe people will play Bridge again. I've got friends here that play it and it's there's a Bridge club here in town, but I've never played it or understood it. So yeah, I'm not part of that. Buying a home and paying it off in one's lifetime. Well, yeah, I think the baby boomers still did that. I would agree with that. And um, I got into some of that thinking early on. But uh, I'm in a phase in my life now where I don't own any property. I um, own a car, and that's it. I own a car and um, a couple chairs and a bookcase, and that's it. And I'm pretty much, um, I can be a nomad if I want. Uh, I'm retired, so I pretty much stay put. Uh, but if I want to get up and move, I can. So I'm not tied down by any house. There are people here that buy houses. Other people rent. And uh, I'm a renter. So, um, yeah, I've I've walked away from this. I'm done with real estate. Not interested in it. In it. Um, number 12, showing up to work unless you're actively dying. Um, yeah, I would say the boomers are still a little bit guilty of this. Um, the companies that I've worked for have changed their thinking over the years. And yeah, if you're sick, you don't want to get other people sick in the company. So, and I think with COVID that really changed things where now if you're sick, yeah, don't come into work. So um, yeah, the new generations have um, been more intelligent about that. Long-term care insurance policies. Let me think about this one. The early policies were solid gold. Companies overcorrected because they weren't making the margin they thought they should make, so they gutted the current offerings to the point that they're useless. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Um, I think that's died out. Manicured lawns with pesticides. Um, depended on who... I've been married twice. It depended on how my wife felt about it, but um, manicured lawns. I, I never tried to keep up with the Joneses ever, ever. So manicured lawns, um, yeah, I, I I never did that. I just um, mowed the lawn. That was it. <laughs> so uh, I don't think I ever bought into that. Not hiring people with visible tattoos. Well, yeah, that used to be true. I think that was true through the 80s. And it wasn't really until maybe the 90s that companies started changing their policies on that. And thank God, because who cares, right? So if you got body art, that's fine. Um, I don't think anybody cares anymore. Uh, but I agree with that. It did. It did. Um, the boomers were still hanging on to that a little bit. And uh, I'm glad that's done and over with. 16, random phone calls to check in on people. Uh, this has mostly already gone away. Um, I don't know, though. I'm in a community here where the expats are all in their 60s and 70s. And I think people do still. I think this one, I think people call. And I, I occasionally check in on people, usually through WhatsApp, though. Uh, I don't usually call people. I usually send them a message. Hey, how you doing? Uh, but I still do this a little bit. I think it's still nice. Um, but I don't do it with a phone call, no. So I'm kind of maybe half guilty of this one. Candy Crush. Never played it. Don't know the first thing about it. Um, I heard it's addictive, so I never really got into it. But I don't understand Candy Crush and never cared about it so ironing um i hated ironing you know who irons before a concert robert plant robert plant irons before he goes on stage he says it relaxes him 
But I personally, you know, I just buy a shirt that's not 100% cotton. It's got some synthetic fibers in it. And uh, if a shirt needs to be ironed, I just don't buy it. Simple as that. I do not iron. <laughs> Being buried in the ground. Um, yeah, I think cremation has um, gained acceptance and um, the boomers were a little guilty of this. Uh, but most of the boomers I know now are uh, prefer to be cremated. So uh, it's changing with every generation, but um, yeah, why take up all that space? <laughs> yeah. Uh, number 20, working ourselves to death for slave wages while thanking the boss for the opportunity. I'll tell you, I, I agree with the millennials and the Xers on this 100%. I think um, the old way of thinking was wrong. You know, uh, the younger generations that get, get accused of not having the same work ethic, but here's my feeling on it. They've seen their parents and their grandparents get laid off. And, um, you know, once you see that, you go, well, I'm not going through that. And I think the younger generations have got it right, which is you show up for work, you put in your 100% if you can, but you don't give blood, sweat, and tears for the company anymore. The companies have not, corporations have not um, been loyal to workers. So why should workers be loyal to the corporations? Simple as that, it's two-way street. Um, I applaud, I applaud the younger generations for, um, having balance in their lives. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, number 21, the idea that retail and restaurant jobs are low and are not real jobs. You know, what we're really talking about here, I think, is they don't think this way in the East. It's more of a Western way of thinking. Uh, it has to do with tiers and hierarchies and, um, you know, some companies now just, they even do away with flow charts because they, they, they're top to bottom. And, um, I think in uh, a lot of Eastern societies, they always felt that every, um, uh, that it takes every kind of people to make the world go round. And finally the West is getting that message. Uh, you know, there was a book that a guy wrote. It was an entire book on rice. It was written by a monk and it went, um, it was a big hit. And he had a chapter on how to buy rice, a chapter on how to soak rice, how to clean rice, how to cook it, how to clean the pots and pans. And his attention to detail was phenomenal. And it became a uh, very popular book. And uh, I think in the West, people are like, really? Well, I think one reason it was such a popular book is people could not understand how you could have that level of attention. Um, it was great. 22, family and social pressure to have children. Hey, I have no children. Uh, I decided that back in high school. I was a big fan of science fiction. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to bring kids into this world. Um, and I look back on it now, and I, th I think I was right, really. I think I was right. Um, I think I understood some things early on. So, yeah, yeah, I never had kids, and I don't regret it. So I'm pretty good for a baby boomer there. And finally, paper receipts. Yeah, I still get them here because it's Mexico, and they still do paper receipts here. But uh, I do a lot of digital receipts and um i'm uh i've totally embraced the digital world and yeah i don't do a lot of paper uh, when i moved here and i downsized i scanned a lot of things and put them in the cloud and um a lot of memorabilia photographs and things i just scanned them and then i pitched all the originals so i'm not a paper person so i think i would give myself a pretty high score on this i think i'm um a pretty hip baby boomer on these 23 categories. Um, uh, like I say, I've been maybe guilty of buying a house and getting into real estate a little bit. Um, 
some things, maybe working a little too hard. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, I think for the most part on these out of 23, I'd score myself pretty good on about 20 of them. So yeah, interesting list. And I just wanted to have some fun. Let me know what you think. I would love to see your comments. And uh, as we say here in May, go Buen Dia. <laughs>